Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad you're here. Hey, we got some recommendations for some more Pain of Salvation. So I wanted to check some, some more out uh, from them. So we're going to check out a song from the uh, Remedy Lane album from 2002. Uh, now that's a uh, 13 song album. It's over an hour long. It's an hour and eight minutes. And we're going to check out the... Uh, Let's see, it's got 13 tracks. So we're going to check out track number eight that's called Undertow. So I'm looking forward to that. So let's go ahead and uh, get into that right now. Undertow, Pain of Salvation.
It's not going to go. Okay, I think we're good. Um, the more I listen to Pain of Salvation, the more I like them. I mean, I really, really like them. Now, that song was just kind of like a big, long chorus to me. It was fairly rep repetitious, um, but in a very well-crafted way. You know, it's the good kind of repetition, you know. Um, the way they built it um, sonically, uh, also uh, the way they built it, um, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, uh, dynamically as well. Um, really good, super good. His voice, you know, from his low to his higher pitched voice, he's such a good singer. And all of the, the way they craft the music with the guitar and then the piano, uh, it's very, very good, very uh, cohesive, yet it, there's a lot of separation in the instruments, but it all comes together in just a beautiful, beautiful mix and uh, a really, really well-crafted uh, sonically, musically, even though it was kind of a, a repetitive sort of chorus in a way, you know, not exactly probably, but in, you know what I'm saying. Um, very, very cool song. Uh, I liked it a lot. I really liked uh, the, because uh, there was that sort of instrumental section where the two guitar lines were going, uh, they were mirroring each other, but they were in different octaves or even it could, they may have been harmonizing a little bit too. Can't quite remember, but um, it was very distinct. And I really picked that out. And that was just m more part of the dynamics that, they introduced into the song that just kept my interest um you know like i'm kind of a proggy guy uh, and i don't know how proggy these guys get i'm not really sure um but if i can't get like a lot of stuff like a lot of notes and a lot of cool chords and a lot of changes um i still like the the uh, uh just sort of the intentional design of a song that keeps you uh keeps you interested in it and that's what this song did for me so that was a very very good song to me i liked it a lot and like i said in the beginning here uh the more i hear them the more i i really feel like i'm going to start really getting into some good stuff and i or i'm not getting into some good stuff but i feel like i'm really going to like them more and more the more i hear them uh for some reason at first i wasn't sure about them because it's been i don't know a couple years since I first started listening to them, but I haven't put that much time into them. But but lately, uh, as my as time has kind of sort of marinated my musical tastes and softened my judgment of music, I guess, where you know I just don't listen to a band because I don't listen to it for whatever reason. I don't like the name of this band, or you know I just didn't know about them, or whatever whatever it was. Um, you know, I'm, I'm way more relaxed about all that kind of stuff now. And I really am searching for good music that I haven't heard. And I love here finding bands that have been around a long time because then I can just go so deep into their catalogs. I love it. Love it. And this looks like another one of those bands that I might be able to kind of really dive into. And, and I know a lot of people really like them. Uh, some people have said it's their favorite band, you know, or it was at one time, but, you know, which is great because, you know, favorite bands change over time, but you still they're still like in your top all time favorite bands, but maybe you have a new number one or whatever, but it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, pain of salvation. I'm starting to really, really see, uh, the talent there and, and, uh, the, their song craft and their songwriting abilities and, and their musicianship is really key as well. Super, super cool. All right, well, guys, thank you so much. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and we'll get a lot more of this kind of stuff out there. Um, let me know what else you want to hear in the comments or check out my Ko-Fi or join me over on Patreon. I've got a couple of Led Zeppelin live performances over there that um, I wasn't allowed to get on the channel here. 
but uh, very very neat uh, love it I'm, I'm very versed in Led Zeppelin but I like looking at uh, live live stuff and uh, also check out my website sespicreekhatworks.com I, I make hats jewelry and woodwork stuff so check out my uh, website and maybe you might want to pick something up there I'll ship it out to you right away all right thanks again i appreciate you all and make sure you leave comments and i love reading them and i love interacting with you guys so we'll see you next time thank you so much bye bye